A year ago, I asked Megan and Gunnar what they wanted this wedding to mean for them and for everyone here. After pondering for a while, they said the most important thing for them is sharing this moment with all of you as an expression of gratitude for everyone who has loved them, supported them, mentored them, yeah, indulged yeah, them, yeah. wreaked havoc with them, and in so doing, helped them become the people standing here today. Hi. <laughs> Oh my god. You look incredible. Oh my god. Look at this plate. <laughs> That's absolutely perfect. Yeah. <laughs> you ready? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Megan, I've never needed a marriage license in Flathead County <laughs> to tell me what we have. I've always thought there's something visceral about the love we have. I feel it in the kitchen at the B&D, laughing as we try to figure out moves for our first stand. On lazy Sunday mornings, eye-gazing in disheveled sheets after a long night's sleep, when we use our Wally voice to gush over him. It's in the little, goofy, light moments that our relationship makes him feel like I'm floating. I'm nervous to stand up in front of all those people. I'm nervous to dance <laughs> as the center of attention. I'm nervous that I'll weep through every word that I speak this weekend. I'm nervous about a lot of things, but I'm not scared because marrying you has never scared me. You make me feel full. You lift weight off my shoulders when I didn't know there was weight to be lifted. You inspire me to grow and you give me face to learn. Your kindness and gentle character rubs off on me and makes me a better person. You challenge me and call me out when I need it. With you, I'm my favorite version of myself. You've brought so much purpose and confidence you brought energy and focus into my life and maybe best of all you brought your people now my people into our life megan i feel everything more with you and i've never stopped falling i can't wait to be your husband love you oh, i love you so much. i can't wait to be your wife So here we are at Under Canvas. For those of you that don't know, this is the first time this venue has hosted a wedding ever. Thank you all for coming and committing to it and embracing it. So looking back to our senior year in college, the story goes that they had an English class together. Uh, Megan asked me if I saw or knew the cute blonde in class, and I was like, wait, what? The, the redhead? Megan identified that she was interested in Gunner. Gunner needed just the slightest nudge to ask Megan. Megan called me at 8 a.m. Saturday, March 22nd to let me know that she met the greatest guy. And we are all now here this weekend. So when I look at these two, what's behind, you know, the, the smarts, humor, the, the charm? Let's face it, they're just good looking humans, right? But what's, what's, what's deeper? What's, what's made these two become so attracted to each other? Together they share a lightness and a mutual understanding of who the other is. There is an honesty and an effortless nature to their love. You, I like to term it as you have gravity and such grace and people just come to you and you're so loving and caring. The amount of people here is a testament to your love and we celebrate you. When we come to Megan and Gunners, we know that we're both welcomed, loved, shed a few happy tears, and of course have an amazing drink, or five. You both are the example of growth, of support, of love and romance, and 
partnership that we all endeavor to follow. We have gathered to celebrate the marriage of Megan and Gunnar. At the same time, we gather to honor all of the love power, generosity, and wildest dreams woven across generations which have delivered us towards sharing this moment together today. Elsa and I would wonder and worry and dream about who would get Gunnar. Gunnar has been my best friend for my full life. I couldn't have dreamed up a more incredible woman for you, Gunnar. I search the world. So a mom and a little girl every had a dream. For the and Megan is what came from that dream. My my Megan is always up for an so adventure. Watching her grow into the funny, passionate, and loyal young woman that she is today has been truly an honor. Gunner, I couldn't have asked for a better person for my best friend. And I'm so happy that she has you to walk through life with. To me, it's always been obvious. Even at the very beginning. Maybe I didn't need to try as hard as I did to get your attention, but I'm glad I did. A few things I love about you. I love your passion for travel that brings us to new places to try new things together. I love how you care deeply and expect little or nothing from the people closest to you. I love how your eyes light up when you talk about the plans you've made for us. I love all the words you've written for us and all the ones you have yet to write. I love your quiet confidence and lack of ego. I love your friends. I love your family. And I couldn't be happier to be joining in a lifelong union with anyone else. Megan's had my heart. She's had me racked around her little finger the moment she was born. She had this phrase that she would say when she was two years old. She would be standing, you know, the little two-year-old, arms up, daddy holds you. Megan, that is always special on my heart. And now, Gunnar gets to hold you. The whole thing. Oh my God, incredible. In the moonlight, darling bright. To me, Megan, you're what home is. Not the little blue money pit in Minneapolis that holds our stuff, or a tent in Montana, but the concept of home that holds everything else. Home is where we're most comfortable. Home is where we can cry, or where we can fall in love all over again on a Tuesday. To me, you are that home, no matter where in the world that might be. Exactly one year ago, they buried this bourbon bottle right over there. I imagine you pouring your intentions, your sincerity, and your dreams for the life you will share together in marriage into this bottle, filled with your dreams, radiating like a heartbeat into the land itself, saturating this entire hill, all of under canvas, all of Glacier National Park, the whole North American continent, and why not? The entirety of the Earth herself. Neither time nor tempest nor shifting ground could break it. May this spirit, brimming with blessings, be a medium through which you offer your vows to each other. Gunner, I vow to always act in our best interest and to judge our lives collaboratively. I vow to maneuver life's ebbs and flows as a team and to make sure we always work together. And I vow to keep pursuing you and trying to impress you. Because I can't quit that feeling of falling in love with you. Megan, I vow to always love you. I now pronounce you wife and husband, husband and wife. You can kiss each other now. So tonight, 
We brought together all of our favorite people, and we are going to throw the most epic Sather party of all time. <laughs> They are the perfect balance to each other. They always find ways to laugh, mostly at themselves for silly dance moves or making up ridiculous songs to sing to their dog. Something I haven't been able to understand is how Gunner, who's a five, managed to pull Megan, who's a 10. It's so clear to everyone here how amazing you are together, how much love you have for one another, and how happy you're going to be sharing your life. You are truly two fantastic people. Each of you is made all the more wonderful by your love for the other. We are so happy. We wish you endless blessings. We love you. To Megan and Gunner.